G'day ice cream lovers. Just popped up to give you a little bit of information on lipid oxidation, would you believe it? Lipid oxidation. Before we jump into it though, I do wanna thank our episode sponsor, Lloyds of Pennsylvania, as or I like to call them, La Lloyds. Barry, Andy, the most handsome father and son duo in the ice cream industry. Custard mixes, ice cream mixes, they do uh, special formulations. Barry is a uh, food scientist. Andy is the sales guy and uh, male model. Uh, their link is down below here. Lloyd's of PA, La Lloyd's of PA. When you call them and you speak to either Andy or Barry, say, is this La Lloyd's of PA? Can you do that for me? Anyway, their link is down below. I wanna to talk to you again about oxidization. I keep wanting to say oxidization. It's oxidation, lipid oxidation. Have you ever seen either your ice cream in your store, another store's ice cream? Down here, we've got the lonely old tub of vanilla here. Uh, this is what's left from a class that we've since scooped up and I left this one in here just to do this particular video. You can see how the nice, beautiful top of this vanilla ice cream is now oxidized and it's turned yellow. Let's bring it up onto the case over here and get a better look at it. So interestingly, when the top of a product oxidizes, if it's a vanilla or a lighter color, it's going to go darker. So you get this kind of darker look to it. If it's a chocolate, it generally kind of becomes a little bit lighter. And I'll show you what I mean when I scoop this up here. You can see a very definite color change between the top and the bottom. The idea is that you want to really stop this oxidation happening um, if for, to your ice cream. And there's three reasons why this happens. Light, heat, and uh, oxygen. Say that with me. Light, heat, oxygen. So particularly if you've got UV lights in your store, um, they are a little bit more damaging to ice cream. So UV lights, extended exposure to UV lighting can, again, oxidize the ice cream. The heat, and when I talk about heat, I'm not talking necessarily about uh, you know, adding heat to it, but the up and down of that display case, the ambient temperature in the store can play havoc with the top surface of this oxygen. Again, if the product is allowed to sit out open like this for extended periods of time, and I'm talking about overnight, it's problematic. So you've got to basically either cover it or just put some wax paper on and seal it up at the end of the night. I feel as though this is a kind of pretty easy uh, secret that not a lot of stores do at the end of the day seal up the product overnight you don't have to kind of make it airtight but this will stop that oxygen and the ambient heat that's in the store from affecting the top obviously if you've got a product in the store that's slow moving it's in there for longer than a week bit of a problem you may need to serve that up in maybe a, a gallon and a half container rather than a three gallon covering it up at the uh, end of the evening will stop uh, or at least slow the process of lipid oxidation. I know you've seen it before and you may have seen it in your store, you've certainly seen it in other stores. Take care of the tops of your ice cream. I should say in the morning as well, take this off if it's a particular flavor, give it a little bit of a topping, sprinkle a little bit of whatever the ingredient base is on it. You don't have to just dress the top of this when you make it, freeze it, put it in the freezer, come out, the top's gonna look all lovely. The top can look lovely every single morning. Quick lesson on oxidation. Hopefully it's not an issue in your store. Try this handy dandy little tip. I think you'll be surprised how longer your ice cream will last in the case. Any questions, comments, concerns, mana manatars, you can leave them down below. Mana manatar is problem in Rarotongan. Look it up. You can also have a look at Lloyd's of PA, or as I like to call them, La Lloyd's, that's right. Uh, their link is down there below. Thank you very much for episode sponsorship. Thank you also for listening in, uh, watching in. If you'd like any information on Scoop School, on our consulting packages, coming to class, maybe purchasing a video training series, scoopschool.com scoopschool is where it's all at. <laughs> Keep on scooping, folks. See you in the next one.